everybody is supposed to be involved in this thing Amen. because you're called to be a minister of reconciliation. Amen. So we need to get the word out to these people, these this hundred thousand people that's dying every day. Seventy thousand are going to hell, and if you and I don't tell them, who's going to tell them? Amen. But let's get into the fivefold record because if Jesus said anything five times, it's probably pretty serious. The first time that we, we see it in the scripture is Matthew 28. Tor, can you go to Matthew 28? Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20. Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20. Amen. Praise God. 28. Yeah, Matthew 28, 18, 18 through 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always and even to the end of the age. Amen. 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 So the, fir the first time we see record of that, and by the way, record means what in the Greek? Remembrance. He's, he's bringing us right now. Come on, church. Yeah. He's bringing us into remembrance of what he said. The first time we see it is in Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Go ye therefore into all the world. The power and authority that I have, I've given it to you. Tag, you're it. You. I was the light of the world, and now you're the light of the world. Go ye therefore into all the world and preach the gospel. Amen. To a hurting, dying, and lost world. The next time we see it, Linda, is in Mark 16, 15. Mark 16, 15. And he said to them, Go ye into all the world and preach, <clears throat> preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. He that believes not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow those that believe. In my name they'll cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then, after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God, and they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. And, and, and that, see, that, and right there is a record, is another record of, of, of the authority and the power as a believer that you have in Christ. Jesus said, in my name, you, if you believe in my, me, in my name you shall cast out devils. Amen. Lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. That, that is a powerful gospel that a hurting and lost world needs to, needs to hear. That, so the, the first time we see it, Matthew, 18, me, Matthew 28, next time in Mark 16, um, in, in Luke 24, Luke 24, um, Roberta, can you read us Luke 24, verse 47? Luke 24, verse 47. It starts there in the middle of the sentence. It's 47, you say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And repentance for forgiveness of sins would be proclaimed in his name to all the nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Amen. Keep going. Okay. You are the witnesses of these things, and look, I am sending you what my Father has promised, has promised as for you to stay in the city until you have empowered, been empowered from the high. There you go. There you go. He's telling them, he's telling them, look, listen, I want you to go around and I want you to preach the gospel and I want people to repent and I want them to come into the kingdom. And, 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 but he's telling them that there's a place, and we're going to get there in a minute in Acts 1 8. But in John 20 21, John 20 21, um, let's see, I got it right here. John 20 21. Then, then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you, as my Father hath sent me, even so send I you. Now, they, now remember, this is right before Jesus ascended into heaven, sits down at the right hand of the Father. He said, Peace be unto you, as my Father hath sent me, even so send I you. Amen. So he's telling us. How many times has he told us? This is the, the fourth time that he's told us. Huh? Verse 22, he says, Receive. 
receive the Holy Ghost. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't leave town without the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You, that, see, that's a good... You've got to be in a Spirit-filled church assembly. You've got to be. You've got to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Jesus did no mighty signs, wonders, and miracles. Read it. He did no mighty signs, wonders, and miracles until he was baptized in the Holy Ghost in the River Jordan by John the Baptist. Then he did signs, wonders, and miracles. Not before. Jesus didn't raise dogs from the dead when he was 13 years old. He didn't do it. But he did have power. So he's showing you the way to power. You must be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. So in Acts, and this is really cool because it goes back to what LeBron just read, where Jesus was telling them in Luke 24, Acts 1 8. Luke, can you read Acts 1 8? Oh, you want to? Who, who wants to read? But you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Amen. So once again, if you look, if you look at this fivefold record, now we, we we looked at it in Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and now in the Book of Acts, Jesus said, "Go ye that go ye therefore into all the world and proclaim the gospel." And and Jesus tells them in Acts one eight, and he he just basically reemphasizes what he's been saying in Acts one eight. He said, "And ye go ye and." <laughs> My God, I'm getting drunk in the Holy Ghost. He said in, in, in he said in uh, But ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses. What? You shall be witnesses. What? You shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem. Jerusalem is like it'd be like this, Troy. You shall be witnesses unto me in Boswick, in Jacksonville. You know, in whatever neighborhood or whatever community, you shall, okay, locally, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and into the uttermost parts of the earth. So it's a local, it's a local call and it's a global call. To go ye therefore into all the world. How can we do that? Because we receive power. And it's really interesting, that word power, that word power in the Greek means we have received God's ability. We receive because we receive the Holy Ghost, we receive God's ability, God's power, God's ability to get... Let's face it, you and I can't do nothing. In and of ourselves, we can't do nothing. But with the power of the Holy Ghost, we receive God's ability to do what Jesus did, to go out and proclaim the gospel. Jesus, we talked about this earlier. Jesus said to the Pharisees, don't, don't look here, or don't, look, don't look there, for the kingdom of God is where? It's within you. And, and Jesus said... You, you know, in, in Matthew 10, 7, read Matthew 10, 7, Matthew 10, 7, but he said it many more times, but in Matthew 10, 7, first of all, in, in Matthew 10, 1, he calls, the, Jesus, he called the disciples to himself. Jesus is calling his, you, right now, in 2010, disciple of Christ, Jesus is calling you. In, in, in Matthew 10, 1, he called them, and in Matthew 10, 7, he said what? Well, As you go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out the devils, freely you receive, freely give. Yes, yes. He's saying, listen, I've given you power and authority, and, and you have the kingdom of God in you. And now, everywhere you go, everywhere you go, today, tomorrow, next week, 24-7, you have the power and authority. You have the kingdom of God. You proclaim, hey, 